So on the left uh, is my, um, I guess my prototype, my little test piece that I was making to uh, fit on the 1515 extruded aluminum. And then on, on the right, what I've got, I'm just going to call it my carriageless carriage, or my bearingless bearing. So here you can see the um, 1515 extrusion, um, 15 millimeter by 15 millimeter, and I designed them little pieces in the back to to fit in these uh, in the slots there, so that it will just slide right on with the same profile that you see here, because uh, those linear bearings are very expensive. They're like $125 a piece, but uh, this stuff's just, you know, pennies, obviously. So, what I got is this piece here, and uh, this is the bottom that were printed on the hotbed area, and this is the top, and the thing is, like, razor sharp. I mean, it just as perfect as you could get. But you can see how that just slides right on there. Maybe you can see how, if I can get it in the scene there. But uh, it's very smooth action. And it's very snug. It's hardly any play at all. And I mean hardly any in the sense that it feels just like a linear bearing on a rod. There's not any wiggle or, I mean, you can you can hear that minor play. It's probably about the thickness of a piece of paper play all the way around. And it fits very well. It slides very easily. But you can see right there, just hardly any effort at all. Just gravity even. And then so, that's the prototype. And, uh, at the bottom, there's a little bit of uh, lip that has to be trimmed off. The bottom of these when it prints, I guess just because of the way that the hot <clears throat> plastic is mashed into the tape. But at the top, it's just razor crisp. And if once you get that guy lined up, you can see that this would be where you would attach your belt. These would be where you would attach your arms, your uh, diagonal arms. And you can see that this is going to work very well as far as a uh, replacement for a linear bearing or any type of roller device. Now I've got an area mounted here for a screw for your um, end stop screw. And then I've got a, another matching piece that would affix to this higher up so that you could mount your end stop. But this is my solution. I'm going to put this console frame together eventually and uh, give this a shot and see how well it works.